to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going back into our ranking style video. We are back again with another WWE Elite figure ranking. Of course, we did veer off the broken trail there. Of course, we did do series 1 through 5. We did series 6 through 10. We took a veer off and we did the AEW and Rival Collection in its entirety, series 1 through 5. We even did the ringside exclusives. We did all the little variants and all of those different things. But today, we're back on the WWE Elite action figure path and we are covering series 11 through 15. There's some pretty good gems in here. There's some so-and-sos. We'll cover all of that, but I also tried my best not to analyze it too much because I want to react naturally and, you know, right on the spot when we cover these figures as we go through here. But uh, you guys know how these videos work. We're going to run through every Elite Figure Series 11 through 15, and we're going to keep doing that all the way up until we get to current day, I guess. But let's go ahead and dive into our tier list over here and go ahead and react to it. We got Go Buy It at the top. That's, uh, you know, that's me fully endorsing the figure. Like, you should go out and add this figure to your collection. It's that good. Good figure is very good. You know, it could go in your collection. If you wanted to put it in there, I would completely understand it. I'd be like, yeah, that's a great figure right there. That's good stuff. Next up is meh. That means, you know, it's like, it's not the most exciting figure. It's not the worst figure ever. It's just meh. It's like in the middle. You got barely acceptable, which would be one thing keeping it out of the garbage. Like, there's literally just one little thing that kept that figure from being in the absolute garbage. And you have the garbage, which means your figure pretty much, you know, it's just, there's no redeeming qualities about you. It's just like good God in heaven, man. This is garbage. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to just go ahead and just, just dive into it. So let's go ahead and dive off, guys. We're starting things off with, I think this is Elite 11 Rey Mysterio, if I'm not mistaken. This one's a really good figure. I'm going to put it in good figure. I don't think it's quite go buy it just because of the legs. Like old Rey Mysterios, you know, you know, if you know, you know, you know, it's one of those things where if uh, you, you just understand it, the legs are very hard to post around and they can be an absolute pain. We're going to put that in good figure for now, but we'll see where that goes. Next up is going to be Elite. Is it 13 Evan Bourne or is it Elite 12? I can't remember. I want to say it was 13, but Evan Bourne is going in the go buy it section because Evan Bourne is a really good figure. Both of his figures, I think, went and go buy it. His first one was Elite 8, I think, in the red, and both of them are really fun to pose around. They're really good, really poseable and stuff like that, even though they don't even have ball joints. If they had ball joints, it probably would have been too unfair. So they said, you know what, Brad, we'll just go ahead and toss him a bone. We'll put him on ratchet joints so he's not too elite, too powerful. We put him in the go buy it section right there with Evan Bourne. Next up is Rey Mysterio Elite 15. Now, this Rey Mysterio is go buy it. If you guys remember the Network Spotlight figure, this is pretty much the first version of that. They did change the purple to blue and re-release the figure, but it's on ball joints. They updated the body mold. A lot more poseable, a lot more fun to pose around. Really great molds on that guy. That's a really good Rey Mysterio. I'm going to put him and go buy it right there. Next up is Elite 13, Sheamus. And for me, I'm going to put this one in meh. You know, it's not the best figure ever. It's not go buy it. I would say it's meh. I don't want to say barely acceptable, though, because, you know, you got to put things in context sometimes. And for this, I think I have to put it in meh because at the time, you know, it was like, I think the only... No, it was the second Sheamus. It was a lot better Sheamus. You know, you got some cool accessories and stuff like that. It's not necessarily good. There's so many more better Sheamuses you could buy, so I'm not going to put it in go buy it, but meh, I think is a fair play, and we're going to put him right there. Next up is Papa Shango. I'm going to put this in good figure. You know, great details. I like that face paint. I like the accessories that you get. They did re-release this with Ultimate Warrior. I think it was a WrestleMania 9 pack, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the Elite 2 pack that we got a while back, and that was pretty cool. I think it was WrestleMania 9. I could be tripping, but that's a pretty good figure. I remember seeing that mock at a con a couple years ago for $100. Didn't buy it. Did not buy it. And it's not, you're not buying it right now. It's a good figure. Next up is Elite 12 Randy Orton. <sighs> I really want to put this in good figure, but I kind of want to put it in meh. I'm going to put good figure. I don't think it's quite go buy it. It has the rubber shirt, which is garb, of course. However, the head sculpt's really good on the guy. The tattoos and everything really match well. I like Randy Orton figures a lot. I'm going to put it in good figure. I think that's a fine place to put it. Of course, you know, if you wanted to complete that era, I would say go buy it. But, you know, just as a standalone one-of-one one Randy Orton, I'm going to put it in good figure for now, and we'll see where it goes. Next up is Elite 11 Miz. Hmm. This one's difficult. I really like the attire. I'm going to go good figure. Head sculpts is, you know, the head sculpt isn't the best for me. He does have good accessories. I actually, fair enough, like Elite 11 is actually kind of a popular wave. I'll explain as we get into it here, but I actually owned this figure mock at one point. I bought Elite 11 Miz, CM Punk, I think Wade Barrett, and and uh, Christian all mock at a con. At that same con, I saw Papa Shango. I bought them all mock and opened them the same day, even though they were worth a lot more in the packaging. You guys know that we let them breathe around here, so there is that. But Elite 11 Miz is going in good figure. I think that's pretty solid. Next up is Elite 13 Me. 
did, I mean, not 13 minutes, Elite 13 Ray Mysterio. I'm gonna go meh here. It's basically a re-release of the Elite 11 here, and I think I like the all black over the black and white there. If it was all white, maybe it would go up to the good figure spot as well, but I'm gonna put it in meh. It's like a re-release, you know, it's not the most exciting ever. I'm pretty sure these go together. Like, I'm pretty sure this is the right order. I don't think they're flip-flops, so there is that. I'm gonna leave that right there at the meh point, and we'll see where we go. Next up is King Booker Elite 14. This is go buy it. Really good figure. I know he has a Hall of Fame figure as well. This one in the white gear is super sick. It's a great Booker T. It's one of the only, like, King Bookers we have. We have two King Bookers. That is the white attire, and then you have the gold attire, and I think that this one is a little bit better because of the gear, and it's King Booker. It's a very nice figure. Good head sculpt, all the things. That's go buy it for me for King Booker. Next up is Mark Henry. I love Mark Henry. I think he's fantastic. He's a great talent. Good head sculpt on this guy. Garbage figure. Can't even move. Legs are atrocious. Legs can't move. He falls flat on his face anyway. He can't bend the knee. I can't stand the Mark Henry figures because they're impossible to do anything with. I would love to book Mark Henry on my show. I can't even move him, bro. It feels like it's going to snap in half every time I even look at the figure. So I'm going to leave him in the garbage even though I love Mark Henry. It pains me, Brad. It pains me to see him there in the garbage, but I had to do it. It's just, there's no other way around it, Brad. Next up is Daniel Bryan Elite 12. I think this is, this is good figure. I didn't like the head sculpt, but the attire and the, the title is obviously very good. I'm going to put that one right there. I'm going to try to flash forward a little bit here. We got Yokozuna Elite 15. I think this is another good figure, you know, for the thing. You get the red attire, you get the nice robe and everything. I think that is a redeeming Yokozuna figure, and I like it more than the Hall of Fame Yokozuna that come with the World Tag Titles. I'm going to put Yokozuna in the good figure spot. Next up is The Rock. This one's barely acceptable. I don't like the body mold they chose for him. I'm not big on the head sculpt. The only thing that kept this thing out of the garbage is those beautiful jogging pants and maybe the microphone, man. Outside of that, I'm not a fan of it, man. Not a fan of it at all. Barely acceptable for me. I'm gonna put him there and he's just gonna have to live there for now. Next up is Alberto Del Rio. Another one for me that's just barely acceptable. I'm not a big Alberto Del Rio guy. You do get the money in the bank. You do get the WWE Championship. It is in, you know, he's got some cool boot molds. I'm gonna put him in the barely acceptable portion. I just don't know why you would want to put this in your collection at this juncture. I think if you want any Alberto Del Rio, go get the Elite 43. This one is one that I would not get. It's just why, you know, why do I want it? Why should I get it? Barely acceptable, Brad. Next up is Elite 11 Wade Barrett. This one's go buy it, I think. I really like this version. You get the Nexus version, Nexus armband, Nexus t-shirt. Really good collector's piece to have for the Nexus and Wade Barrett. I actually like the figure a lot. Kind of boring, kind of plain Jane, but I like the accessories in the moment. It's kind of nostalgic. I kind of like it, you know, way bare, all those things. I'd say go buy it. Next up is Elite 11 CM Punk. For me, this one's go buy it. Really strong. Again, great t-shirt, great armband, really nice attire. You can fix this guy up a lot. Uh, just a really fun CM Punk. I mean, the only thing that's kind of crappy about it is the knee pads and the posability is a little bit off, but as a CM Punk figure and the attire and everything, really great CM Punk. I enjoy it. I would say go buy it. Moving on up, guys, we have Elite Series 11 John Cena, and just like Wade Barrett, just like CM Punk, I'm gonna say, ooh, nah, I'm going good figure, I think. I'm gonna put this guy up here. I like this figure a lot. I don't think it's quite go buy it worthy, I don't think, you know? I, I, yeah, I don't, nah, bruh. I'm gonna put it in good figure. I think good figure is fine for it. I do like the purple shirt and the hat and the accessories, all the things that is great about the John Cena, but I don't think it's quite go buy it. There is another scene on here that may be in the go buy it section but I don't think it is that one right there. I think that's a good figure. The purple wasn't my favorite or anything, but I do love a John Cena that has the shirt hat combination with everything going on with it. Really fun stuff. I'm going to put it in go figure and we'll move on. Next up is Elite 13 Dolph Ziggler and I love this figure, but is it go buy it worthy? I don't think so. It's really good though. I really like it a lot. Really good posability. I like the short haircut. You know, you can do some fix ups with it. I like the attire. He had the small arms at this time. They weren't giving him the gigantic body builder arms that they like to give him, so that is also a bonus of the figure. I'm going to put it in go figure. I'm not going to go too high on it, but it is a really good piece, and I enjoy it because I'm a Dolph Ziggler fan, but I'm not going to get too, too crazy. Next up is Big Boss Man. Now, this one is kind of a toss-up. It's it's the 
Network Spotlight Big Boss Man. Do you absolutely need it? You could just go get the Network Spotlight. I'll put this in good figure, I think. Yeah, I like good figure here, I think. I think. Do I like good figure? I'm gonna put it in meh. You know, I'm putting it in meh. I will put it at the top of meh, though, because you can't go get the Network Spotlight, and I feel like the Elite 14 may be one that's more expensive for whatever reason, so I'd say go get the Network Spotlight. Speaking of which, we have the Elite 14 John Cena. I don't know why I said speaking of which, because it has nothing to do with it, but we're going into the go buy it section, because this is one of the best John Cena's they've ever made. The only, like, harping quality is the ankles. It gets really loose ankles, but the attire is so good. The light jean color of the shorts with the red and the head sculpt, and this is a great figure. You could do really good customs back in the day with just this figure, and it's just one of those that I really like, so I'm gonna put him and go buy it. Next up is Sin Cara. I think this is a good figure as well. Really good posability, really great attire. You know, the blue and the, and the gold and stuff like that. It is really good. I don't know if it's quite go buy it though. Because it's Sin Cara, you know, I, I I don't know why you would want to go buy it unless you're looking for custom stuff and things of that nature. So I'm going to put it in good figure and we'll see. Next up is Christian. This Christian was good figure, but is it still good figure? You know, like you have the you have the fans central now. <sighs> I think I'm going to put it in meh. Uh, that's kind of a shocker, I think. I think that's kind of a shocker one. I'm going to put it in meh. I don't know. I like the Elite 20 Christian better. I like the, I think the best of pay-per-view a little better. And I love the brand new one that we got, the fan takeover one. I would go search that one out. I don't think this is a need, you know, necessarily. I'm going to put it in meh, and you guys can do with that what you will. And it's not a bad figure whatsoever. I just think there's better alternatives with, you know, interchangeable hands and stuff like that. This is a meh. Next up is going to be Big Show. This one's barely acceptable for me. It's Big Show. It's kind of plain Jane. You know, not the best release of all time. You know, he was featured on TV a lot at this moment, but it's just one of those that I'm just like, eh, you know, doesn't, doesn't do a lot. Next up, guys, is going to be R-Truth, and this one is, uh, you know, this is, I think, is this our third R-Truth already? I want to say this is our third R-Truth. For that reason, I'm going to put it in meh because we have two, this is our third R-Truth to this point. Uh, you know, it's, it's not bad at all. It's just not one of those that's really necessary, I guess, at this juncture. After this, I think it would be like literally 50 or 60 series until we got another one, the one with the 24-7 title, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong about that, but I think that is the case. I think they did like an Elite 2, an Elite 9 or 10, and then this one. So I'm going to put it in meh. You know, there's just better options and stuff like that. Next up is Alberto Del Rio. Again, barely acceptable. Don't really care for it that much. It's just, it's Alberto Del Rio, man. I just don't want it, you know? I don't, I don't want it at this juncture do you need it at the time of the making of the video not really just barely acceptable not a bad figure per se just not one that i would search out and get in your collection you know next up is justin gabriel this one's gonna be kind of weird i'm gonna go with good figure you know it's a unique character you know you can do all kinds of stuff with it you do get the cloth t-shirt really good attire on the guy solid little head sculpt not a bad figure i'm gonna put it in good figure i think that's a pretty solid stance for him right there next up is elite 12 kane i think you have to go buy it just for the simple fact that it's Elite 12 Kane. I'd put him on up here, here. You know, I'd put him up there. I, I I don't know. I like the John Cena a lot. I don't know if he's the best one, but Elite 12 Kane's really good. They, of course, did do a re-release since then. They got the Hall of Champions Kane, and there's all those different things, but at the time, man, this figure was, like, Hall of Fame level. Like, I think a lot of people will put that in their Mattel Hall of Fame or, like, their, you know, their rock wall or whatever until the re-release happened, but that figure used to be so sought after all the time, and I guess it still is. It's just not quite there, but I would say go buy it because it's one that you really need in your collection. Next up is is Cody Rhodes Elite 13. I really like the jacket, but outside of the accessories, man, I just, I'm not really big on it. It's like the smaller body, and I don't know, like Cody in that gear just is just bleh to me. It, it, it just makes me go yawn, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to put it barely except a really great jacket and accessories and all those things, but as a standalone figure, just not one that I would really want. Next up, guys, is Elite 13 Edge. This is go buy it. This is a really strong edge. The only flashback edge that we have really, at least in the Edge and Chris Christian tag team. Really great attire. Great stuff. Like Elite 12 Kane, this is one of those figures that everybody has always searched out. Really great figure overall, and I would go buy it. Gonna cost you some money though, for real. And last but not least, guys, we have Elite 14 Undertaker, and I think I'm gonna put him in... Uh, I think I'm gonna put him in meh. I think I'm gonna put him in meh. I like the Undertaker. All his different figures are great. You know, you get different accessories and head sculpts and stuff like that, but I don't know. I just say yeah, I'm gonna put it in meh. Not too, too different from some other Undertakers that we've seen, but I think that wraps up our our ranking of WWE Elite Series 11 through 15. We kind of covered all of them here. I, I kind of agree with this now that I, you know, I take a step back and I look at the full analyzation of the board that we got going on. 
and I think it makes a lot of sense. I think all of these are, are pretty good here. I mean, maybe a couple of flip flopped. I like my go buy it section. My good figure section's pretty good as well. I, I think I agree with this list right now. I think, you know, Mark Henry, the only one in the garbage. Very sad to see because, again, I love Mark Henry, but just, again, not a figure that I absolutely love. And just, it, it, it falls and it feels like it's going to snap anytime I just, I literally pick it up. I feel like it's going to snap in half. That's not good, man. That's not something you want to see. And again, I love Mark Henry, but it pains me to see it. But that wraps up our ranking, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think of it down in the comment section below. What do you guys think of everything right here? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know down in the comment section below. Before we get out of here, guys, let's get into the random shout out. Who's going to go to SC Cola, who says, when you just bought a new Elite, but then Mattel announces a way better one of that same wrestler. And that is so relatable, Brad, because you know, you think you've got it and you're like, oh, I need that updated. I need that updated. And then as soon as you get it, you click on ringside collectibles and bang, what do you see? Brand new figure that looks, it's got a way better head. It's got a way better this, a way better that. And especially like, what if you bought like, like, like the new, like a new basic? I think it's the worst with basics because you know, you'll, you'll spend like a hundred dollars getting a bunch of basics with that head sculpt you really like to fix up all your different figures and make them look nice and great. And then they release a new figure with a new head sculpt. Perfect example is our new Rollins, that new ponytail man bun head sculpt and then you know they release another one and then it's way better and you're like damn now I gotta get 20 more Rollins to fix up all my other Rollins and then eventually your head sculpt you thought was really good ends up in your bin because you don't need it anymore because you don't like looking at it because you got all these other Rollins head sculpts to choose from so yes you are correct Brad don't cross the line though you cross the line I've been beaten